So we got this video. It's in Mediaite. Trump-backed Senate candidate Dr. Oz refuses to say 2020 election was stolen when pressed by Anchor. So it looks like Dr. Oz is probably going to pull off the election, um, beating the other candidate in the Pennsylvania Republican primary. Let's see. Now, he did, this video is from like a couple days before the primary. Let's see how he handled the question about, hey, is it a rigged election and stuff like that. Let's go to election integrity, because uh, you've talked about this a lot often. What about 2000 Mules? Uh, ha yeah. Have you seen the movie? And if so, what did you think of it? I, I have not seen the movie in part. Let me just I say, for those of you who don't know, 2000 Mules is the Dinesh D'Souza documentary or movie about how the election was definitely stolen. And it's riddled with horrendous arguments and misleading stuff and outright lies. And that shouldn't surprise anybody because Dinesh D'Souza committed election fraud himself. He's a partisan hack and he's working backwards from his conclusion and it's a piece of trash. I recommend uh, Crystal's monologue on that where she breaks it down. And um, yeah, this is in far right circles. They're embracing it because it's telling them what they want to hear. And so this guy is asking the question because he's on one of these goofball networks. I don't know if this is One American News or Newsmax or whatever, but uh, let's see how Oz handles it. I literally haven't had a second. Right. My wife, however, keeps nudging me to go watch the thing. Uh, she's got it downloaded. The reality for me is 2020, under the cover of COVID, was a, a g example of how you should not run an election. And here in Pennsylvania, people are really worked up about it. I already said on the debate stage, I was the first to say we cannot leave 2020 behind. We have to get under the hood, examine exactly what went down, and address those issues. And that means a lot. See, this is, okay, so the headline makes it seem like he stood up to Trump. This commentary is not standing up to Trump. This commentary is typical politician garbage. Dr. Oz knows the election wasn't stolen, and he's doing the tap dance of like, well, maybe we should look into it. Looking into it is a mighty fine idea. I don't know why I'm giving him that accent or that way of speaking, but he's bullshitting. He's bullshitting. Yeah, we should look into it, and yeah, we can't leave the 2020 election behind, and yeah, there were anomalies and whatnot. Allowing the, the legislative branch here in Pennsylvania to finally do its job. It's been blocked by the attorney general who was running for governor. So the current governor and the next governor to be, he hopes, have been blocking due process. Yeah, for sure. So what about Trump in this whole thing with election integrity? Because regarding the 2020 election, you have said before we cannot move on. Uh, so, so do you believe that the two, uh, 2020 election was rigged or stolen? Those are the words he uses. I'm curious. I'm trying to understand what we cannot move on means, just so I understand. Not move on means there are so many different things that happen as you really, really examine it as a physician. You know, I, I like to get into the details. I talked to individuals who say their votes weren't counted, who went to the polls and claimed that someone had already voted with their absentee ballot. There's so many questions and not just about the absentee ballots, but the fact we don't have voter ID here, that opened up the whole system to mischievousness. We have got to understand the different ways where cheating occurred so we can... All bullshit. Over 60 court cases, Trump lost almost every single one of those cases, like the one he won was over some procedural nonsense and it didn't change the outcome of the election. Uh, Republican judges, Trump appointed judges, laughed this out of court and said, there's no evidence that this thing is stolen. They did an audit in Arizona where they found that not only did Biden win, he won by more votes than they thought he won by on election day. This is all bullshit. He knows it's bullshit. He's being a politician. First of all, identify how much happened, but also make sure that it never happens again. And the voter ID issue is critical here, David, because without voter ID, frankly, it's impossible to tell. And we don't have voter This is a guy who claimed he's never been involved in Turkish politics. And then there was a picture that resurfaced of him voting in the last Turkish election. He's talking about voter ID, voter ID, voter ID. If this guy had left-wing politics, the right would act like he he's not even able to run. Because he's, you know... I don't know if he's a dual citizen or he was a dual citizen, but, like, they would question his loyalty. But since he's a Republican, he gets away with this stuff and he starts talking about voter ID and, you know, fake election conspiracy tap dancing where he's not saying it directly, but he's talking around it. Voter ID because the current governor has blocked numerous efforts by the Republican legislature to mandate that. So with the Republican governor, who hopefully will come in with me, we'll be able to get that done and finally have some prayer of knowing who voted when and why. Right. The, the reason I ask you is because it seems like the delineation point a lot of times is those words rigged and stolen that, that Donald Trump likes to use. Some people won't use them. I haven't he he heard you use them today. So you're cautious on those words or you want to be careful? I want to be careful. Republicans are about fixing things. I, I know okay. for sure we've got to deal with 2020. It's, right. it's, this is, but this is about knowing exactly what the diagnosis is so we can give it the right treatment. All right.
There you go. I don't. He shouldn't have been given credit because just because he won't use the words rigged or stolen, he said everything but that. And so the reason why this is an interesting story to me is because the, you just witnessed now, you just witnessed, this is the moderate Republican position. This is the moderate Republican position right here. And with that's your moderate, your moderates ain't moderate, I hate to tell you. So, this is your team, these are your boys, by all means, go right ahead, but that's pretty sad. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe, it helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop, and watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.